Hello, this is Hussam Hourani, and today we'll talk about uh, text mining, and we will uh, specifically talk about text clustering. Let us go directly to the orange data mining and see how we're gonna do text clustering. So we're gonna use uh, text mining panel as we explained in our last lesson. So we're gonna grab the uh, core bus, and from core bus we will use a grim tail selected. You can browse it from here, and you can select it from your default. Uh, directory because it comes with orange data mining so uh, we have the title and we have the content for uh, used uh, for text features this is fine so uh, to see this uh, corpus we go to uh, corpus viewer if you want and from corpus viewer we'll see that we have 44 documents as you can see in this uh, in this uh, document these are sub documents in the same document in the same uh, physical document but we will talk about uh, in the coming lessons how to use different documents from uh, uh, different uh, uh, folders or different documents we will show you how to use this but today we will talk about this grim tail selected now uh, as you can see uh, we have categories we have the tails for magic and we have animals tails these are the two categories for all these uh, you know uh, for all these documents so uh, we talked about all the details about this grim tail selected uh, it's very simple uh, uh, data set that we can use in text mining now uh, to do text clustering we need first to connect to as we know pre text to clean our text to clean our text so from here you can add whatever you want as in what actions you want to clean but mainly i'm gonna remove the uh, stop words this is the stop words uh, I, i've chosen english language and i've also chosen my customized uh, stop word text i will leave it in the in the uh, github uh, where you can download it also so i'm gonna get rid from the uh, mainly stop words i'm gonna clean uh, the text and i'm gonna uh, click apply okay and now I can use something called bag of words. Bag of words, it's very important for text mining because it converts the documents into uh, words counts uh, per each document. So after uh, getting the uh, word document, uh, the bag uh, of words, we can now uh, do, uh, if you want, uh, we can do two things. First, we can do word cloud, okay, if you want. So from word cloud, you can see all these things, okay, for the word cloud. And also we can uh, do a distance, distance to do clustering. So I'm gonna choose, okay, uh, distance and hierarchical clustering, okay. And uh, after hierarchical clustering, I'm gonna do view, view, uh, uh, view corpus, view, or corpus viewer corpus viewer okay so what we're gonna see now is the cluster the hierarchical clustering based on these documents so i'm gonna open this one which is now has all the clusters as you can see okay so you have uh, the the notation as a t utopic these are the notations so you can see all these clusters and sub clusters we can view these clusters to explain it more by clicking the corpus viewer okay and let's, let's open both let's open both so if i choose for example uh, the first cluster this one it has two documents so this is a sub cluster so this is a sub cluster for this main cluster if i choose the uh, upper cluster it will pick up all these documents because they are in the same cluster also you can uh, go up one level to see the c1 cluster as you can see we have around uh, 28 documents all together also we can navigate to other clusters okay these are other clusters and you as you can see and most of the clusters most of the clusters they cluster the documents be, yeah, uh, almost based on animal uh, the category of the documents the animal tail uh, animal tales or tales of magic however there are some documents as you can see here that doesn't belong into this cluster but because it has uh, the words that are most likely similar to Tales of Magic, it put them under uh, Tales of Magic. So this is the clustering, okay? And you can also browse 
to see all these documents. You can also go into these uh, to see exactly what's going on between these two documents, the uh, animal tail and um, tail of magic, uh, two documents and see uh, what's happening. This is tail of magic and this is animal tail. Maybe if you read the both stories or tales, you will uh, see why uh, uh, the system put them in the same clusters because of the um, uh, distance between these documents based on the uh, count of words, count of words. So this is how we do uh, hierarchical clustering on uh, documents in this way. And um, there are uh, other methods and other things that we can also use for classifications and many other things like uh, to handle documents, uh, different documents, which I will explain in the coming uh, lessons. So this is the lesson for today. I, I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you on our next lesson. Till then, enjoy data, uh, orange data mining.